this one's about fan speed on the integrated furnace control furnace. Uh, when the integrated furnace control first came out, they put something onto it that was kind of interesting. People that wanted their fan motor on all the time, and a lot of structures that works good for. But if you wanted it on all the time, you would energize G at the thermostat, that would be the fan auto off position, and it would go to high speed, which is a cooling speed. Well, normally the reason it's set up that way is when Y is energized at the thermostat, then G is also energized. When the air conditioner comes on, you want high speed on the fan, so you energize Y and G, and that turns the fan to high speed. However, if you just turn the, the auto on switch, it would also go to high speed, which was not really convenient if you're running the fan all the time. Tend to make a little noise, a little, use a little more energy. Well, the IFC controls, when they came out, they fixed that. So the way it's set up, and let's get close to this thing. When I energize from R to G, right here, then the fan goes to low speed. If I energize R to Y and R to G, then it'll go to high speed. And I'm gonna demonstrate this. Now, if we look at what I've got here, I've jumpered from R to G. And I've also put a clamp meter on the low speed, the red wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the power to this thing, and let's see what happens. Okay, I've turned it on. The fan has come on, it's drawn 5.8 amps, so we know it's running on the low fire. Now, I'm gonna energize from R to Y, and let's see what happens. Now, if you look close, I've still got my jumper from R to G, but I've also placed a jumper from R to Y. That's imitating the air conditioner has come on. And let's see what happens now. Okay, you can see I've clamped the black wire, which is high speed. And of course, we're showing amp draw. If I go to the red wire, you can see I get no amp draw at all. Okay, that's how the integrated furnace control deals with the, uh, the fan being on continuously. If you go to the terminal board, one thing I'll tell you, you don't actually have to hook Y up here. You can just uh, put a wire nut to it to go to the outdoor unit and the air conditioner will work fine. However, when your fan comes on, it's gonna come on to low speed because it never got the signal. So when you're working with an air conditioner and a uh, integrated furnace control, you need to hook up the Y to the terminals on the board. They're not just a place to put wires. It actually does signal the board what's going on. Okay, hope that one's understandable.